Yo, what's up, YouTube? Marinay here. So by now, I hope you guys have all noticed that we do have double XP this weekend, and Treyarch has also put in a Nuketown only playlist. So if you need to rank up, you need to prestige, I highly suggest going to check out that Nuketown 24-7 playlist. It's looking dope. In the meantime, though, apparently with all the madness that's been going on over the past couple weeks with all the patches, the updates, the DLC, DLC is about to drop on the Xbox and, P and PC very soon. So apparently it seems like Treyarch has buffed a couple assault rifles and really did not tell us about it. Uh, apparently, I guess they didn't really want too many people to tell us about it. So since I really haven't seen any videos about it, I decided that I would make a video just to inform you guys of some of the weapons buffs that have occurred. So first off, you've got the KM44, which is the, ga the gun that I obviously use the most. If you guys have watched my videos before, you see that I love the KM44. I've been using it since the game first came out. And the KM44's three hit kill range was increased by 17%, so a pretty substantial increase in the range. As you can see, it's a beast from this gameplay. Um, it's all it's four shot kill range was also increased by 30% So now it's gonna be a little bit better with long shots, etc. It's I mean, it's just so OP now like it's ridiculous uh, it, it actually started out being a little bit OP and then they it looks like they buffed it a little bit So or they nerfed it like at the beginning of the game and then now with these four shot and three shot increases You've got a buff next up. We've got the HBK 30 which had its four kit hill rip Four hit kill range, excuse me, increased by 33%. And then perhaps the best improvement of all was the ICR1, which received all of its stats increased by 30%. So it's now like ridiculously OP, like it's like God mode. So if you guys do notice that you see a lot of people using these three new guns, that's why, because they're very OP now. So I highly suggest that you guys check them out. And even though the ICR1 uh, statistically, it's the best of the three that I mentioned. I still prefer my KN44. So once again, I hope you guys found this video pretty informative, pretty helpful. Uh, if you have not taken the chance to check it out now, uh, check it out already. I highly suggest you check out my Call of Duty 2016 wish list. A lot of interesting things in there that I think you guys will be really interested in. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys later.